on the cannon quickly folding. Uh, Daniel gonna fold this one. And now for us. Hey, the Queen Deuce again. Did work for him so well before when he made it 850,000. So why not raise it here? 300,000 to go. Doesn't like to stay out of many pots. And Josh Aurier behind him with ace nine of diamonds just calling. Now Josh knows this guy is raising a lot of pots. And he knows many times the guy has nothing. So he's going to look him up here with the ace nine of diamonds. Scotty going away. Yeah. Two way action. Ace nine up against Queen Deuce. Now Faraz just stares at his opponent when the flop's out there. Doesn't look at the flop. Wants to see if his opponent's got any kind of reaction, but the gum speed didn't change any on that flop as it comes 10 7 4. Josh is checked. Let's see if Faraz makes the continuation wager. Indeed, he does. He spent 575,000. Wow, look at this, Vince. Josh Aria makes a call with the ace nine of diamonds here. Well, I think he's out in front. He's made the call. To the turn we shall go. Unbelievable call by Josh. Maybe he's thinking about taking this pot away or obviously looking to catch some kind of card. And now a king comes off. Now Josh is going to check. Farage checks right behind him. Here comes the river card. Well, another 10 comes off. So the board now pairs 10s. Action back on Josh. He has the best hand with ace high. He's going to check. And the toilet completely perplexed. He's got nothing here. Will he better to try to steal it one more time? Well, that's the queen high would actually be the best hand if Josh had something like five, six, or eight, nine here, or some type of straight draw, even a jack nine. Will he give it up or will he plunge away with nothing? Yes, he's going to plunge. Well, he's betting 700,000 here. And Josh would just love to call his life coach right now. Get him on the hotline. Say, what to do, coach? This would be an all-star call by this 35-year-old pro out of Atlanta if he could make it. But the only way you can make it is because you know this guy is such an aggressive player. And he could have bet the flop with a straight draw and now be trying to steal the pot. Josh is going to look him up with ace high and win this pot. Well, that is incredible poker right there. Doesn't need the life coach. What a call. So Josh Arie makes the call of the night there, winning that pot with just ace high. But picking Dwight to win it all. I call. Kia Mojeri, the chip leader, is going to call with a jack nine. And Ophir Moore is going to pick up an ace six. Well, he's got a new lease on life now, so he's got to be feeling good. He's just going to call, though. Doesn't raise with the ace high. And Dwight Pilgrim with just an 8-6. Content to see a flop. Well, flop comes king, three deuce with two spades. No one hitting anything. Ophir checks, Dwight Pilgrim checking, and Kia checks as well. Now a seven comes off. Check it. Well, again, it goes check, check, check. And now a queen comes off. Who's going to take a stab? 575. Yes, it is Dwight Pilgrim. He's going to bet 575,000. Well, Kia goes out, but Ophir saying to himself, you know, this guy didn't bet anywhere along the way, and all of a sudden he's going to bet now when the queen comes up. So in Ophir's mind, he's probably got a pair of queens or he's got nothing, whereas ace high might be good. Well, this would be a heck of a call if Ophir can make it. He is sensing it, and he's doing it. Well, what a nice call by Ophir. He read him perfectly there. He had two queens where he had nothing. So Ophir wins that pot by making a good call. Wow, what a way to start play. Dwight Pilgrim, the trash talker, taking some punches on the very first. Four offsuit on the button, making it 4,500 to go. Yeah, I swear we'd be Getting there. called by Jake Schindler's 9-5 offsuit from the big blind. It's a little bit of a loose defend, but Nowadays, from the big blinds, players are starting to play a lot of weaker hands, and they're trying to compensate by playing a lot of their strong hands the same way. So, uh, makes sense to defend this hand, even though it's pretty pretty weak. Yeah, a little sticky defend there. Both players check the flop of eight a tray, and now a six on the turn. Action on Schindler. So Noah checked back with ace high plus the ace of hearts was the backdoor flush draw. I actually like this check back. You don't want to be continuation betting too often. And uh, ace high has some showdown value, plus it could make a, a backdoor flush if it comes hard heart. Now Jake, after Noah checked the flop, 
himself picked up a gut shot straight draw with the six of clubs. So with some added equity, Jake decides to try to take a shot on this turn. Makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, the bet is 8,000. And Noah makes the call with the ace high, a small ace high at that. So Noah, I think, realizes and recognizes that Jake just has so many semi-bluffs on this turn. Uh, the real question is what's going to happen on the river. The two of spades is just not a card that completes too many draws. It's not a dangerous card like a seven or a nine. The two does complete four or five, but besides that, doesn't really complete much. So most of Jake's semi-bluffs on the turn are still bluffs on the river. So if Noah thought that ace high was good on the turn, he might decide to continue calling down with ace high here well, on the river. Well, he's going to be faced with a call of 21,500 after that bet from Schindler here with just nine high. And no matter how much your logic may tell you to call, when you're in that seat and you're facing that big bet, yeah, I mean, the logic, honestly, is pretty unclear. There's a number of hands Jake could be betting for value. Obviously, an eight and four five, but he could also be betting a six, even hands like pocket fives or pocket fours. And Jake actually bets pretty thin. He could even take a hand like queen or king three and be trying to get value from it. So it's you're definitely going to be beat here a lot. Oh, that doesn't stop Schwartz from making the call, and you saw it was almost like a reflex. And he's going to get to roll the ace high over for a healthy size pot of over 70K. You got to give Noah credit. He read the situation, and he came up with a gutsy call, and in this particular spot, he was right. Patient yeah. enough to, uh, to wait it out and see if he can get a better situation. Jake Schindler, meanwhile, will open the action with a raise to 22,000. The 25-year-old pro calls Hollywood, Florida home. You may recognize that town. Also home to Jason Mercier, a familiar name here on the tour. This is Jake's first Alpha 8 appearance, and he is going to be heads up in position against Dan Coleman, the intimidating professional who has Queen Jack suited and has flopped a flush draw. Two kings and a five with a couple of clubs. Dan checks it. Jake seizing the opportunity to fire a continuation bet of 21,000. I might have actually checked back here if I were Jake with Queen 10. It's got some showdown value and not too much equity. But he decides to continuation bet Dan, not going anywhere, of course, with his flush draw. Four of hearts a blank to both players, and Coleman, who has over 22.8 million in live tournament earnings, casually checks it over to Jake, who has 3.7 million in live tournament earnings of his own, and checks back. Jake doesn't improve and decides not to go for it again. Now the six of hearts on the river. I think Dan has two options here. He can check and hope queen high is good, or he can just try to bluff with it. Sure. Um, he decides to check. And Jake looks like he sees this up as an opportunity to try to bet. Knows that he can't win in showdown, or assumes he can't win in showdown. That Dan either has a hand like ace high, or maybe a five, maybe pocket threes. But what is Jake representing here? I mean, the line is so suspect. I mean, he could have two sevens, maybe. I mean, I, don't, I think he would probably bet the turn with two sevens. He could have rivered a six. It's a little bit suspicious of a bet, but it's tough for Dan to just to call with queen high. Try telling that to Dan Coleman. He casually deposits 42,000 in the middle wow. and shows Queen Jack over Queen 10. That's playing the game.